go on a Thursday. This is The Herd. Wherever you may be and however you may be listening, we are live in Los Angeles on iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio, and FS1. Greg Cosell, one hour from now, NFL Meat Sandwich. Joy Taylor is joining me as we... Today we're packed. Tonight is the beginning of a bunch of good week three NFL preseason games. Starters will play tonight. It's a cross your fingers night. Nobody gets hurt night. It really feels like the official start of football. The the, the official start of the NFL season is tonight where starters play. Uh, Some guys like Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield may play play into the second half over the next three or four days. Uh, Veteran players, obviously, in New England, they want to know who's going to be the backup, not Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers, it looks like, will play. Um, I'm going to give you two headlines today. I'll start with the first one. They both sound controversial, and they're both regarding iconic first ballot Hall of Fame talents. Here is the first controversial headline. Packers must make drafting quarterback a high priority. It was in USA Today. Whoa! Clickbait! Fake news! No, not at all. I don't understand... And I've watched the NFL draft my entire adult life. I don't get why teams don't draft a quarterback every year or every other year. It doesn't matter if you have Patrick Mahomes. It doesn't matter if you have Jameis Winston. Or you have somebody in the middle of the pack, Dak Prescott or Cam Newton. It's the only position in the NFL that you can draft it And if you've got a great player at quarterback, you don't even have to play him and he can have increased value. You draft somebody behind Aaron Rodgers. He learns from Aaron Rodgers, just like Aaron learned from Brett Favre. And two years later, you can move the pick for where you drafted. Jimmy Garoppolo was more valuable having sat behind Tom Brady and gotten hurt than he was out of college. New England has drafted 10 quarterbacks since they first won a Super Bowl. Fourth round, third round, third round, second round, third round, fourth round. Good draft picks. And they've been able to trade those picks and get equal or higher value for them. This sounds like a controversial headline. Of course Green Bay should draft quarterbacks every year. They've drafted two since Aaron Rodgers started. And every time he twists an ankle, it's man overboard in Green Bay. So if you have a great quarterback, Big Ben, Mahomes, Luck, you draft the quarterback, third or fourth round, because your first couple of rounds are where you get your stars and where you plug your holes. This is a league that has viable free agency. You plug your holes with free agency in the first two rounds of the draft. By round three, 35% of the players are busts. They're whiffs. They can't play. So if you have a great quarterback, you draft them, let them learn your system, and move them as you get the next guy for equal value. If you have one of those really, really haven't we seen enough quarterbacks, you know, Andy Dalton, (laughs) Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota, I'd argue Cam Newton, some would argue Kirk Cousins, you obviously draft a quarterback because they're not taking you to a special place. And if you have a bad quarterback situation, of course you draft him. The NFL draft is fascinating, is that there's all sorts of tricks to it. It has changed. The most important position in football is the quarterback position. Look at what we draft now at quarterback and what we used to draft. Like, I don't get this. The league has become solely, overwhelmingly about what position? Quarterback. I would draft it every year. I don't care if I have Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to bring in Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to draft a a third-round pick to a fourth-round pick every year in Kansas City. I'm going to take that quarterback. He's going to learn from Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. And, A, he's a safeguard in case Patrick gets hurt. And, B, if he's not, I can trade that pick in three years and get equal value. So it's not a bust pick. It's just something I don't get about the draft. By the way, most young quarterbacks I really like. Carson Wentz, injuries. Deshaun Watson, injuries. I mean, a lot of these guys that I like, Carson Wentz, Andrew Luck, Deshaun Watson, I got injury concerns. I I think that sounds like a controversial headline, and it's an obvious headline. Of course Green Bay should draft a quarterback. 
They don't have a ton of holes to fill in this roster. They needed a center, a, a safety, and a tight end. They went and drafted all those positions. They should take a second, third round pick, learn from Aaron, sit behind Aaron. Maybe he's the next Aaron. If not, trade him for equal value two, three years later. Here's the second headline, which sounds controversial. Adam Schefter acknowledges this could be the last season for Tom Brady. Whoa, clickbait, fake news, trying to get attention. No, let's listen to Adam Schefter's thoughts on this. People forget that people have lives and they have families. And sometimes, you know, you want to do what's best for your wife, or your kids. And Tom is 42 now. And I'm sure that his family has sacrificed plenty for him to do what he's done and to be as dedicated as he is to his job, to do it at the level he has. So, again, if it's me just looking at it from the outside, I'm just reading the signs, right? His home is for sale. He's on a contract that voids. It's just saying that this has the potential, one way or another, for this to be his last season in New England. Of course it does, and it's really happening soon, and it's going to change the National Football League dramatically. Listen, if you look at the greatest quarterbacks of all time, there are no exceptions here. They all had great coaches. There is no great quarterback who had a stiff as a coach. Bradshaw had Chuck Knoll. Okay, Montana had Walsh. Fouts had Air Coriel. Aikman had Jimmy Johnson. Tom Brady has Belichick. Marino had Shula. Elway had Shanahan. They, they, you know, it doesn't, there is no, God, he was a great quarterback. Roger Staubach had Tom Landry. Okay, so Belichick and Brady... I don't give a rip who gets the credit. They are the league's pattern. Brady can play poorly, Rams Super Bowl, and Belichick beats you. He completely works Sean McVay. Or it's not Belichick's best game plan, <laughs> Philadelphia, but Brady throws for 500 yards. You have to have both. And what's to me, what's clear in the NFL, this is not a controversial headline. This is going to happen soon, and it is going to open the door for Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. I think there are five quarterback head coaching combos that have a chance, and I think Reed and Mahomes feels like over the next 10 to 12 years, they'll have the greatest opportunity to be in the Walsh, Montana, Aikman, Jimmy, Bradshaw, Noel, Brady, Belichick, Elway, Shanahan model. I think, though, for me, Mahomes and Andy Reid is it. I'm going to get a great coach, a great quarterback, a great GM. Um, I'm going to get stability from the franchise. They draft well. They have dysfunction in their division. Currently, Oakland. And in two years, I think the Chargers, Denver, and Oakland could all have new quarterbacks. If I had to rate them right now, because the league has no exceptions, you find an all-time great quarterback who wins Super Bowls or gets close they all have great coaches. I'd go Mahomes, Reed, number one. If you told me next 12 years, who's the next quarterback coach dynasty? I'd go Reed, Mahomes, one. Goff, McVay, two. Wentz, Peterson, three. Luck, Wright, four. And Wilson, Pete Carroll, five. Now, Pete's getting up there. I don't think Pete has probably four years to coach, maybe five. That's why I put them fifth. Uh, I can't put Garoppolo, Kyle Shanahan, because I have questions about Garoppolo's health. And frankly, how good is he? I think he's good. I don't know. But, but what Schefter is saying, this is not even, it's close. And when Tom leaves, it is going to open the door wide open. And we have four or five coach quarterback combos, which in my opinion, as long as the quarterback can stay healthy, Wentz, Luck, we have a chance to see a next dynasty here. And I think Reed and Mahomes feels like 12 years, five Super Bowls. Not saying they'll win all of them. They'll get to half of them. That's what it feels like to me. Uh, good stuff today. Uh, coming up next, of course, Pittsburgh can't take their eyes off Hard Knocks and Antonio Brown. The ratings are in and Pittsburgh's freaking out. And some thoughts on that coming up. All right, summer, couple of weekends left. Once you get past Labor Day... Batten down the hatches, kids are in school, gets more serious. If you are preparing to make a trip, can I offer some advice? 
buy some away luggage. Every suitcase, a hidden removable laundry bag separates dirty and clean clothes. TSA approved lock keeps your belongings safe. Four spinner wheels glides through an airport. Perfectly sized carry on fits in the overhead. The designs are fantastic. Go to awaytravel.com slash Colin. 100 days, don't like it, return it. No questions asked. Plus, they'll give you 20 bucks off when you enter the promo code Colin, C O L I N. Also, has you can order with their carry on luggage a removable TSA approved battery. So you go to an airport, you don't get stuck with a dead phone, which is just a some airports just do not have enough plug ins. Away luggage is fantastic. Go to awaytravel.com slash Colin.